dear learners welcome to the course antennas and microwave engineering in this video i am going to explain waveguide corners bends and twist waveguide corners bends and twists are normally used to change the directions of the guide through an arbitrary angle waveguide is normally rigid except for flexible waveguide and therefore it is often necessary to direct the waveguide in a particular direction using waveguide bends and twist it is possible to arrange the waveguide into the required position as we know that waveguide is a hollow metallic tube it is used to transport electromagnetic energy from one point to the another point if we want to change the direction of the electromagnetic fields we can use the waveguide corners bends and twist when using waveguide bends and waveguide twist it is necessary to ensure the bending and twisting is accomplished in the correct manner otherwise the electric and magnetic fields will be unduly distorted and the signal will not propagate in the manner required it will cause loss of information and also introducing reflections accordingly waveguide bend and waveguide twist sections are manufactured and specifically to allow the waveguide direction to be altered without unduly destroying the field patterns and introducing loss this figure a represents e plane corner figure b represents h plane corner here this corner the bending is a sharp bending is introduced in the direction of the electric field vector that's why it is called as e plane corner in the figure b it is introduced in the direction of magnetic field that's why it is called as a h plane corner here sharp bend is introduced in order to minimize reflections from the discontinuities it is desirable to have the mean length l between the continuities equal to an odd number of quarter wave lengths l is equal to 2n plus 1 lambda g by 4 so you observe that here this is the length l this length l it should be the odd multiples of lambda g by 4 this figure c it represents bend it may be e bend or h bend in the waveguide e bend this figure c represents waveguide e bend this form of waveguide bend is called as e bend because it changes the electric field to enable the waveguide to be bent in the required direction in order to prevent the reflections this waveguide bend must have a radius greater than two wavelengths similarly for the h bend it changes the h or magnetic field direction it creates the bend around the thinner side of the waveguide that is the difference between e bend and h bend this figure c illustrate figure c illustrates twist there are also instances where the waveguide may require twisting this too can be accomplished a gradual twist in the waveguide is used to turn the polarization of the waveguide and hence the waveform in order to prevent undue distortion on the waveform a 90 degree twist should be undertaken over a distance greater than two wavelength of frequency in use in a if a complete inversion is required for example for uh, for phasing requirements the overall inversion or 180 degree twist should be undertaken over a four wavelength distance 
generally e bend and twist used to change the direction of the electromagnetic waves for the wave guide when the minimum uh, minimum radius of curvature for a small reflection is given by r is equal to 1.5 b for e bend wave guide twist are also useful in many applications to ensure the polarization is correct in order to reduce the reflections we have to choose the radius of curvature as r is equal to 1.5 b for e bend and uh, curvature radius r is equal to 1.5 a for h bend where a and b are the dimensions of the bend so from this discussion we could understand this waveguide components like a waveguide corners bends and twist used to change the direction of the electromagnetic waves in the entire waveguide structure thank you